So next topic is optical fiber joints. So connectorization of two optical fibers is involved in insulation process. So optical fiber joints connectorization of two optical fibers is involved in insulation process. So there are two important two important fiber joints. First one is fiber connectors. Second one is fiber splices. First one is fiber connectors and second one is fiber splicers. Fiber connectors are used for temporary connection between the two optical fiber cables or any other devices including optical amplifiers, optical transmitters, optical detectors and optical splitters or any other component, couplers, adapters or any anything whatever we will use in optical fiber communication system. So splicers are splicers are nothing but permanent joint between the two optical fiber cables with the help of splicing techniques. With the help of splicing techniques, those are fusion splicing and mechanical splicing. Those are fusion splicing and mechanical splicing. So fiber optic connectors are also having connectorization mechanisms. There are but joint mechanism and so importance of optical fiber connectors. The connectors are used to join optical sources. The connectors are used to join optical sources, optical detectors, optical splitters and optical amplifiers. The connectors are used to join optical sources, optical detectors, optical splitters and optical amplifiers to the optical fiber cable temporarily to the optical fiber cable temporarily. So consider consider optical transmitter and there is an optical receiver. Consider an optical transmitter and optical receiver. We need to establish a link between optical transmitter and optical receiver. We need to establish link between optical connector and optical transmitter and optical receiver with the help of optical connectors. How it will happen? So, we have a input connector we have an input connector and this is a output connector input connector and output connector at optical transmitter and at the same time we have a input connector at receiver and output connector at the receiver. We have input connector at the receiver and output connector at the receiver. Now we need to now we need to establish link between these two. We need to establish a link between transmitter and receiver to connect this with optical fiber cable. Connectors also used to join two optical fiber cables. These connectors are also used to join two optical fiber cables. Whenever there is a requirement in establishing a long optical fiber link between source and destination. Between source and destination. These connectors are also used to join two optical fiber cables. These connectors are also used to join two optical fiber cables. Whenever there is a requirement in establishing a long optical fiber communication link between source and destination. These optical fiber cables laid over 
thousands of kilometers on its surface and underneath the sea. Underwater communication also we need sometimes interconnection between two optical fiber cables. For that application also we will use this optical fiber connectors over thousands of kilometers over thousands of kilometers in at surface and underneath the sea in its surface and underneath the sea and these optical cables are either joined together after a few hundred meters these optical cables are either joined together after a few hundred meters or connected through repeaters after every hundred kilometers these are so these connectors are also called as plugs these connectors are also called as plugs these connectors constitute the end of the optical fiber link these connectors constitute the end of the optical fiber link attaching connectors to the fiber optic cable is called as termination termination is a very important at the end of the optical communication link to terminate the ports to reduce the to reduce the back reflection to reduce the back reflection so the connectors constitute the end of the optical fiber link attaching connectors to the fiber optic cable is called termination so the connectors are available in screw on type bayonet type and push pull type the connectors are available in different configurations here are the few types screw on type bayonet type and push pull configuration so these connectors include both single channel and multiple channel assemblies these connectors include both single channel and multiple channel assemblies for cable to cable and cable to circuit cord connections these connectors include both single channel and multi channel assemblies for cable to cable and cable to circuit cord connections these fiber optic connectors are unique the fiber cables transmit pulses of light transmit pulses of light instead of electrical signal instead of electrical signals so the terminations must be more precise the terminations must be more precise so instead of simply allowing pins to make metal to metal contact in copper cables for example in copper cables metal contact so fiber optic connectors must align microscopic glass fibers microscopic glass fibers perfectly in order to allow for communication through this optical fiber communication channel instead of merely allowing pins to make metal to metal contact fiber optic connectors must align microscopic glass fibers perfectly in order to allow for communication so requirements of a good connector first one is low coupling loss requirement of a good connector first one is low coupling loss and compatibility and interchangeability next one is compatibility and interchangeability and easy of assembly and use easy of assembly and use and next low cost and reliability you should have a low cost and reliability what do you mean by reliability 
reliability is nothing but lifetime of the lifetime of that particular connector without any damages or any technical failures without any damages or any technical failures the connector should work in a long run that is known as reliability and low environmental sensitivity and next one is low environmental sensitivity so these are the good requirements of a very good connector low coupling glass compatibility and interchangeability and easy of assembly and use low cost and reliability and low environmental sensitivity now we will see one by one clearly so low coupling glass low coupling glasses are because of change in refractive index because of change in refractive index in optical fiber cables or connectors 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 are also nothing but a device which will be used to interconnect to optical fiber cables so here is the impedance mismatch impedance mismatch the term impedance mismatch generally we will use for copper cables in microwave engineering so because of impedance mismatch the reflection reflections will happen because of impedance mismatch in the context of copper cables that is a microwave engineering in the same manner refractive index change in refractive index leads to reflection in the case of optical fiber communication change in refractive index leads to change in refractive index leads to reflection in the optical communication terminology so here i have a given example there is an optical device there is an optical device with input connector and output connector with input connector and output connector whenever there is a link between optical device to another component this optical device may be an optical transmitter i need to connect optical receiver i need to connect optical receiver to join this optical transmitter to optical receiver in between i have a three devices one is output optical connector of the transmitter input optical connector of the receiver and there is a optical fiber cable there is a optical fiber cable i am connecting my input connector to the device optical transmitter and output connector to optical fiber cable output connector to optical fiber cable and then the end of the cable input connector of the optical receiver and next one is compatibility and interchangeability so whenever we are going for purchasing this connectors which connector is best suitable for which equipment generally we will use equipment here equipment is nothing but our optical transceiver system okay the equipment in use determines connectors so whatever the equipment we are using for our optical communication that determines the connectors there are generally most two common types one is lc and other one is sc lucent connector lc stands for lucent connector and sc stands for subscriber connector sc stands for subscriber connectors so lc and sc connectors are the most common connectors so the connectors must match fiber type for example 
we are going for single mode fiber we are going for single mode fiber communication between the transmitter and receiver we are supposed to go for single mode fiber connectors only we are supposed to go for connecting single mode fiber so only we know that the core diameter of the single mode fiber is 9 micrometer we know that the single mode fiber core diameter is 9 micrometer so with this with this precision only with this high precision only the connectors will be made with this high pressure only the connectors will be made so we cannot use this single mode fiber connectors to multi mode fiber connectors where the core diameter is 50 micrometer where the core diameter is 50 micrometers so connectors must match fiber type that is single mode connectors must be used with single mode fiber only so first one is we need to select what is our communication what is our communication whether it is uh, you are establishing a link between uh, transmitter to receiver with the help of single mode or multi mode with the help of single mode or multi mode we already discussed what pros and cons of single mode and multi mode fiber single mode fibers uh, are having uh, long distance communication long distance communication multi mode fibers are having short distance communication due to due to bandwidth limitation of bandwidth distance product due to limitation of bandwidth distance product so there are two common types lc and sc these are the most common types and compatibility and interchangeability so compatibility is nothing but connectors of the same company connectors of this not same company connectors of the same type let us say lc type lc type of connector is manufactured by 3m 3m company LC connectors are manufactured by 3M company. So, and LC connectors are manufactured by AFL telecommunication. LC connectors are manufactured by AFL telecommunication. So, here the compatibility means connector of the same type, connector of the same type must be compatible with one manufacturer to another manufacturer connectors of the same type connectors of the same type must be compatible with one manufacturer to another manufacturer here the manufacturers are nothing but two companies let us say one is 3m and the one is afl telecommunication Otherwise, you can take AMP Tyco also. This fellow also manufacturing this LC connectors. And Agilent also manufacturing this LC connectors. Okay. Connectors of the same type LC or SC. Otherwise, you can take uh, SC, SC type of connectors. Two SC type of connectors are manufacturing by both AMP and Agilent. Both AMP and Agilent. Whenever Whenever there is a requirement, there is a requirement in re-establishing, re-establishing a link between transmitter and receiver. We need to purchase, we need to purchase with some other company. We need to purchase with some other company. For that, we can say compatibility means connector of the same company must be compatible with the connectors of the same company must be compatible with the manufacturer. One manufacturer to other manufacturer. These are the companies uh, which are very much useful for optical fiber communication career. Okay. And these are the different types of connectors. We already discussed that uh, we already 
discussed even in our uh, previous slides, uh, there are uh, different types of connectors are available. One is a screw-on type, another one is push-pull configuration, and another one is bayonet type. So this is the bayonet type, and this is the push-pull configuration. This is the push-pull configuration. This is the bayonet type. Okay. And next one is easy of assembly and use. Next one is easy of assembly and use. So, easy of assembly is nothing but the service technician. Service technician should have a skill to connect and disconnect the optical fiber connectors in the field environment. Other than, other than the factory the service technician should have a skill to connect and disconnect to connect and disconnect optical fiber connectors in the field environment so here is the example so next one is low cost and reliability low cost and reliability the cost of the connectors should not have impact on total system cost of the optical communication system the cost of the connectors not supposed to have a impact on total systems cost and reliability reliability is nothing but lifetime of the particular connector reliability is nothing but a lifetime of the particular connector and next one low environmental sensitivity low environmental sensitivity okay connectors connector losses should not have any effect on temperature dust and humidity connector losses should not affect on temperature dust and humidity so next one is a optical fiber connector coupling mechanisms there are two optical fiber connector coupling mechanisms first one is butt joint or ferrell type fiber connectors first one is butt joint or ferrell fiber connectors second one is expanded beam or lens fiber connectors second one is expanded or expanded beam or lens fiber connectors so what actually butt joint connectors butt joint connectors butt joint connectors depends upon alignment of the two prepared end fibers butt joint connectors rely upon alignment of the two prepared fiber ends in close proximity in close proximity to each other so that the fiber core axis coincide so that the fiber core axis so that the fiber core axis will get coincide with one to another so expanded beam or lens fiber connectors in expanded beam connectors it utilizes interposed optics at the joint in expanded beam connectors it utilizes interposed optics at the joint that is interposed optics is nothing but lenses in order to expand the beam in order to expand the light beam from the transmitting fiber end from the transmitting fiber end before reducing it again to a size compatible with the receiving fiber end so expanded beam connectors utilize interposed optics at the joint nothing but a lenses in order to expand the light beam at the from the transmitting fiber end before reducing it again to a size compatible with the receiving fiber end so in butt joint connectors we have i used the word prepared fiber ends have used the word prepared fiber ends what actually the meaning of prepared fiber ends 
So here are the steps involved in fiber ends preparation. Here are the steps involved in fiber ends preparation. Let us take one optical fiber cable. First we need to strip the fibers. First we need to strip the fibers. Strip the fibers are nothing but removing the removing the sleeve of the optical fiber cable. This is the first step. After removing the coating of the optical fiber cable, we need to clean the fiber. We need to clean the fiber with some chemicals like acetone, isopropyl alcohol or anything. With some, we need to clean the fiber ends and then cleave precisely and third step is cleaving. What is meant by cleaving? Cleaving is nothing but cutting the cleaving is nothing but cutting the cable, cutting the cutting the cable with proper alignment. So how the fibers will be stripped? The fibers will be stripped with the help of stripping tools. The fibers will be stripped with the help of stripping tools. And next one is how it will be cleaned? It will be cleaned with the help of isopropyl alcohol or acetone okay and the third one is how to cleave the how to cleave the fiber cable with the help of cleaving machine with the help of cleaving machine with the help of cleaving machine 